Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we are playing Terracotta. This is a really, it's a really cool puzzle game. Let's just get into it. Um, I'm going to start a new game. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yeah, I didn't make it that far. I played it enough to, to understand the basic mechanics and realize, wow, this is a cool game. I would like to make videos on it. So, uh, this is what I'm playing, playing through GameRound.co. That's a great uh, playtesting site. You can go there, playtest games for free, up and coming. Most of these games, like, they get released on Steam. Um, so, I mean, like, they're they're in the mainstream. They're just not AAA. And they're they're also um, in the pipeline. So, they're upcoming stuff. It's a, I'm not going to read any of this, but um, it, it is pretty interesting. It's cool. But um, I'm going to keep plugging Game Round <laughs> because I like it so much. But, um, yeah, one of my favorite games I've ever played was uh, Doors of Insanity. And I found it on the Game Round platform. That one got released on Steam. So anyway, um, this is pretty, it's pretty cool. It, to, to me, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm from the U.S. I'm American, North American, and um, I'm not well-versed, and <laughs> I'm not very cultural, right? Like, I don't have a, a very diverse background, and so it's kind of cool to see stuff like this where it's really inundated with... Um, Asian culture. It's just a different culture from what I'm used to, and it's cool to see. And defeat the forces of evil. So this is um, kind of inspired by the Terracotta Army. I, I remember that from like middle school, learning about that. But if you're interested, go check that out. Pretty, pretty big part of history. Sparkling lights provide wisdom learning. I'm using mouse and keyboard, although gamepad is recommended. This dimension is yin. It is slow, dark, and quiet. So it's kind of like a way to like pause the game in real time, which is like um, an oxymoron. It's a contradiction of terms, but it's the truth. You'll see what I mean later on. We're going to press C. The equilibrium of energies has been restored. Ancient spell ready to be reverted in the room. So, so reverting, I guess, the creation of the Terracotta Army, right? I cheated, though. I already did this part. Break the spell to turn Terracotta into dust. I like the music a lot. Um, I like... the artwork. And kind of like the dichotomy between the, the light and dark. Can we... No, I can't do that yet. Yeah, if you didn't read the beginning thing, um, then it's... Uh, I think it's just like... It's poetry. That, that's how I would describe it, and it was kind of cool. When I, when I played it the first time and read through it, it was good. You're about to enter the Yang dimension. It is a world of light, movement, and life. Switch between both dimensions at... <laughs> Both dimensions at your will. Totally tongue-tied there. Okay. And then so you can see here now we're running. Um, all these soldiers are shooting at us with what looks like crossbows, right? But there's the Great Wall behind us. Or maybe we're on the Great Wall of China. Okay. One of the wonders of the world. I'm sure everyone's heard of it, right? But, like, you never know. You never know. So we'll come here and we will switch. So there's a difference in music. We're all quiet and sneaky. Well, slow. Not really sneaky, per se, but we're slower. The Tree of Life will allow you to restart from here. Love it. And then we'll right-click again. Active switches only work when someone is stepping on them. Move and hold to project key. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it the way an American would say it. Um, I, I, even though I'm like almost 100% positive I'm saying it incorrectly. But move and hold to project key on the ground. It will generate walls of energy when switching to Yang. Okay. So we come here like right on the dot. You have to be like right on the dot, I think. And boop. Trace it, and then. Trace it. Uh, totally. <laughs> totally botched that up. 
Oh, it worked though. Okay. And then we re reabsorb the energy. You can see like our bar up here. That's the amount of energy that we have. Oh, and then let's go back. Can we go back? Yeah. Right here, it tells you the shape to make. And I mean, if it weren't obvious uh, from the ground, then you can see it right here. That's. I'm guessing that later on there will be multiple shapes that need to be made, and they will need to be made with accuracy and precision um, as to not waste this resource because you will need all of it, every drop, just a guess, in order to open um, different doors. So we got one. Oh shoot, we need to be here like the whole time, don't we? So then we're gonna go like this and dodge the bolts while we're activating the switch. Sweet. Let's go. And then, so we come here, and here's a switch, right? But we can't get to it because we can't jump that far. <laughs> and so I don't think we can jump at all. So you right click, and you come here, and it gives you the, the pattern to make, or like the ability to make the pattern. And so I'm just going to kind of trace it out. And I say kind of because it's pretty, it's pretty rough. But um. Luckily, it's almost like a compass, or uh, is that what it's called? The compass, like where it, you draw circles? I think it is, right? No, it's not. I'm totally blank. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> and we got it. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Step on this thing. It's a timed switch. You have to be here until all three things light up, which... Which is cool, it adds, um, it's a pretty simple way to add, um, diversity to the mechanics, right? And you, what is it? C, right? Yeah, C to light the fire. And we're just gonna sneak by. Good night, guys. Oh, there we go. You have to be right on top of that little green thing. Okay, and then we make them all turn to dust. I'm not sure if you saw that I kind of went fast, but the background I liked a lot. Um, yeah, it's gone now, but it's just like a continuation of the good artwork. It's it's pixely, but not, what is it like, I don't know, 16-bit? I don't even know, but it's 16-bit instead of 8-bit or whatever. 32-bit instead of 16-bit. I don't know if that exists. I hope, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, so what now? We need to come up here. Ooh, and make a square. Key energy can shape into any form, not only circles. You can walk and project energy at the same time or change the length of the radius. Ooh. To create perfect straight lines. Uh, stand still and project energy while you expand or collapse the energy cursor. So, ooh, look at that. Okay. Or, wait, so we can... Can we do this? Let's see. Can I... Whoops. I'm trying to make it as short as possible right on top of us. There we go. So I'm just going to hold down left mouse button and do that. Walkie, walkie, walkie. And, oh. Okay, so you need to. Is that good enough? <laughs> That's pretty, pretty bad. Oh, it worked. Okay, thank you for your forgiveness, game. Your, your wiggle room, the margin of error. So it's a puzzle game. Here's a puzzle. Did I need to leave that there? Oh, no, you just jump off the side. Okay. <laughs> Overthinking. Um, what's this? Oh, here we go. Projects key energy on crossbows and other elements to activate them. Arrows will bounce on key walls. Ooh, that sounds cool. Okay. So what... It's always important to work backwards from this, I think. Like, from a thing like this, you look at the end. Like where, do we, where do we want it to be at the end? Up there, right? Like, what's our... Uh, what's the light at the end of the tunnel, I guess? It looks like it might be that thing. I don't know. But Oh, it's like an MC Escher thing Oh, no, it's not Never mind <laughs> I saw the stairs and I was like Wait a minute, that's in a different dimension Not like like an astrophysical type dimension or something But like just, you know, it's like on a fourth Like, not 3D, it's something else But anyway, let's get on with this
I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. So I just kind of held on to it. Uh, what? So it looks like I just need to make a 45 degree angle right there and just use, you know, geometry or whatever to um, get it to bounce at this thing. But then I don't get, it's not shooting. Right? Oh, sh shucks. Let's go like this. Okay, like, th uh, uh, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's do it again. Right there. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so project key energy on crossbows and other elements. I don't get how to, um... So, we're gonna make... Oh, I see. So, it's just, like, showing us? How do... Why is it not... There we go. Okay, so get long. Like that. And then, is that gonna do it? No? Okay. Oh, I see. There's a there's a progress bar at the bottom. Okay, I'm not sure why last time I tried that, it made like a giant like arc in front of the crossbow. Does that hurt us? Yes. Okay. And then here, it looks like it might just go straight. Although, do we need to kill that guy? Yes. I would venture to guess that we do. Oh, yeah, there's a gash right there. Okay. Oh. Dao. He, who will remain nameless, was a young soldier known for his amazing skills and incredible charisma. Although loyal and honored as few, his warm-hearted heart... That's... His, his warm heart? That's a that's redundancy. Complete. <laughs> it sounds really weird. Anyway, his his warm heart and and a, his warm hearted nature and a great sense of justice brought him occasional problems, but no war or battle weakened the fearless warrior and mighty warrior as the love he had for a young woman, who also happened to be a slave of the powerful and evil master. After a treacherous accident, he kills the master and is sent underground as punishment for his crime. He was convicted to work as a slave and help the craftsmen create amazing life-size statues made of terracotta. The craftsmen, amazed by his, pr the craftsmen, comma, amazed by his prisoner figure. What I don't. It's a little bit broken here. Like there's um, there's some missing punctuation and like in uh the way the way I read uh, individually, like me personally, this is a little bit ambiguous and confusing to me. So it just takes a second to figure it out. The craftsman, amazed by his prisoner figure and aware of his military background, immortalized a soldier into statue form. With the Emperor's death, everyone who was underground received the same density, destiny, not density, um, cursed and distressed souls trapped in terracotta figures inside an underground graveyard, doomed to call for help and for eternity until today. Okay, um, there's the history of, or part of, I guess, the history of the terracotta army and why it's there. Okay, so special four tiles will unveil tales that jumped from generation to generation since ancient, ancient times. Uh, oh yeah, we have to make it longer. There we go. Um, okay. Is he... Down for good, bro? Yep, he's incapacitated. That's all we need. I think I'm going to call this one here, and this is just like a first look at this game, and we'll pick it up next time. This one's called Terracotta. Uh, to be determined release date. You can check it out on Steam or on GameRound.co. Um, thanks for watching. This is Atlas Gaming. I do appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. I release content every day. We'll see you in the next one.